Hola, ¿qué tal? Hello, crochet friends. I am Majoval. Welcome to my channel. Today I teach you how to make this beautiful coat. It's very easy to do. All in double crochet, with diamond stitch embellishment. This size is for two years, but you can do it for any size. Today I show you the first part. On Friday I'll show you the second. The cuffs are missing, the back loop and the hood. On Friday they will be in the second part. In my blog I leave you a small graphic pattern. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. If you liked it, leave me a like and a comment of love. Thank you. I hope you liked it. Materials 300 grams blue wool 4 millimeters. Hook 4 millimeters. 6 buttons. Let's make a square yoke. We start with 62 chains. Twelve and twelve front, twelve and twelve sleeves, fourteen back. The five more points on each front are for buttoning. One row. Three chains. These three chains count as one double crochet. Eleven double crochet. This is the front. One chain. Twelve double crochet. This is the sleeve. One chain. Fourteen double crochet. This is the back. One chain. Twelve double crochet. This is the sleeve.
one chain. Twelve double crochet. This is the front. We have created four corners where we will make the increases. It measures 34 centimeters or 13.5 inches. Remember that five points of each front are for the buttons. Two row. I always start the same way. You can do the three chains if you want. One slip stitch. Two chains. Two double crochet. Now we are going to make the buttonholes. I have done them every five rows. One chain. Skip one stitch. One double crochet on each stitch until you reach the corner. In the corner. One double crochet, one chain, one double crochet in the same stitch. One double crochet on each stitch until you reach the corner. In the corner. One double crochet, one chain, one double crochet in the same stitch. Repeat the sequence until the end of the row, increasing one double crochet, or one chain, one double crochet in each corner. Remember the three strings from the beginning. Finish with a double crochet in them. Three row. One slip stitch. Two chains. One double crochet on each stitch until you reach the corner.
in the corner. One double crochet, one chain, one double crochet in the same stitch. Now you just have to repeat row 2 until you have the necessary measure. Increase at every corner. Here where is the buttonhole you just have to do a double crochet. I have worked 12 rows, 15 centimeters or 6 inches. Chest girth measures 57 centimeters or 22.5 inches. Now we are going to join the forwards with the back. Work the front until you reach the corner. Skip the sleeve. One double crochet on each stitch until you reach the corner. Skip the sleeve. One double crochet in each stitch to the end of the row. Now let's make the skirt. Every 8 stitches I will make an increase of 5 double crochet in the same stitch. 1 slip stitch. Two chains. 7 double crochet. It is up to me to make a buttonhole. Five double crochet in the same stitch.
a double crochet. Five double crochet in the same stitch. A double crochet. Continue the sequence all the way back. So that the steering wheels remain in the same place, mark the other front. Count 8 from the end and leave a stitch for the ruffle. If the stitches don't match, instead of 8 do 9 or 7, you have to square the stitches. Continue the sequence to the end of the row. Now in this next row where we have the five double crochets together, you double crochet in each stitch. Total 10 stitches. One slip stitch. Two chains. Seven double crochet. Two double crochet together. Two double crochet together. Two double crochet together. Two double crochet together. A double crochet. Two 
two double crochet together. 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 Continue the sequence to the end of the row. Now work the skirt with one double crochet in each stitch until you reach the necessary measure. I have worked it for 16 rows, 19 centimeters or 7.5 inches. Now let's do the rhombus stitch. The stitch is multiples of 4. 1 row. 1 single crochet in each stitch. Two row. One slip stitch. Two chains. One double crochet on each stitch until you reach the corner. Three row. One chain. One single crochet. Skip three single crochet from row one. One front post triple crochet. Make sure the back stitch is free. Three single crochet.
one front post triple crochet without closing in the same stitch as the previous one. Skip 3 single crochet from row 1. One front post triple crochet. Close. Make sure the back stitch is free. Three single crochet. One front post triple crochet without closing in the same stitch as the previous one. Skip three single crochet from row one. One front post triple crochet. Close. Make sure the back stitch is free. Three single crochet. One front post triple crochet without closing in the same stitch as the previous one. Skip three single crochet from row one. One front post triple crochet. Close. Make sure the back stitch is free. Three single crochet. Continue the sequence to the end of the row. End row with One front post triple crochet In the same stitch as the previous one.
Make sure the back stitch is free. It would have to end with one single crochet, but I accidentally did one more stitch. Four row. One slip stitch. Two chains. One double crochet in each stitch to the end of the row. Five row. One chain. Three single crochet. One front post triple crochet without closing. One front post triple crochet. Close. Make sure the back stitch is free. Three single crochet. One front post triple crochet without closing. One front post triple crochet. close. Make sure the back stitch is free. Three single crochet. One front post triple crochet without closing. One front post triple crochet. Close. Make sure the back stitch is free. Three single crochet.
a trick. The second single crochet has to coincide with the crossing of the rhombus. One front post triple crochet without closing. One front post triple crochet. Close. Continue the sequence to the end of the row. End row with three single crochet. One front post triple crochet without closing. One front post triple crochet. Three single crochet. Six row. One slip stitch. Two chains. One double crochet in each stitch to the end of the row. Seven row. One chain. One single crochet. One front post triple crochet. Make sure the back stitch is free. Three single crochet. One front post triple crochet without closing. One front post triple crochet. Close. Three single crochet. Repeat row three until the end. The sleeves. Start from the corner as you see in the video. Three chains. One double crochet in each stitch to the end of the row. Pay attention to whether the row is on the right or reverse side.
finish row with slip stitch. Turn. Three chains. One double crochet in each stitch to the end of the row. Finish row with slip stitch. Turn. Three chains. One double crochet in each stitch to the end of the row. Repeat until you have the necessary measure. I have worked for 8 rows, 10 centimeters or 4 inches. To make the cuffs we have to make a row in single crochet and another row in double crochet. Same as skirt. <laughs> 